so glad, by the way. We talked about this at the VMAs. I was like, please. Oh, yes, single. you did. You said. I was like, let it be luxurious. I know. I wanted that song, too. Yeah. And it's just such an oddball song on the record because um, it's kind of the most, I guess, R&B. And it has mm -hmm. a funny story behind it because Tony and I um, wrote that song, which is, you would think I would have written that with somebody else, but that was me and Tony in his room, like, figuring out, like, I knew I wanted to do this really kind of fast kind of rappy part I don't know how to describe it but like how the chorus is double time to the music and so we were listening to all these different things trying to rip up all rip all these melodies off and <laughs> it was one of the last songs we wrote and mm -hmm. we wrote this whole song and we loved it and we we're so excited and we showed it to Nellie Hooper mm -hmm. and Nellie's like oh you got to put this sample on there and we were like what you know because if you use a sample it means that you have to like basically hand the song over to the person that you're using the sample of you know mm -hmm. so it's like it's just a weird thing that happened where we had written a song and the sample came on afterward, yeah. but it sounded so amazing and meant to be that we just ended up doing it anyway. So um, it's just a, it was just a weird song that we wrote, and now that it's a single, it's really exciting. So I didn't have any ideas for a video. Like yeah. usually, I always have it like right when I write the song, but I didn't really think it would be a single. And so I, I called, I had this one vision of this girl that was from high school named Mercedes, if you see, if I don't know if she's going to be watching, but she's very inspiring, she's this total like chola girl, you yeah. know, white face, and she used to sit in class and put on tons of makeup, and I used to just watch her mesmerize, and she would just wear this dark liner and this red lipstick, and she had this safety pin, and she'd be picking her eyelashes <laughs> apart, like she hadn't been taking that mascara off for months, you know, it's like... So it was like one of the first images I came up with, and yeah. I called Sophie, and I'm like, Sophie, you need to do the video. And She's like, a chola? What, she did not that? understand. <laughs> She's like, so I basically like had to like come up with all the ideas and force her into doing this kind of different lighting and different yeah. style, and it was really fun for us. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Do you finally feel like, you know what, I've earned it. I've earned this place. I've earned this luxurious mm. life. I feel yeah. like I've worked really hard to get to this point, but I feel also just very, like, blessed. Like, you know, I've had so many great opportunities, and, like, the fans, I mean, I just wouldn't even have this life without them. So it's, I feel really blessed, and I feel like I worked hard, but I also had a lot of fun. And um, I don't know. That, I mean, that, that song in particular really is, it's, it's more about a love relationship. It's more about how you work really hard at love. Yeah. And, you know, and sometimes you know like you don't think you're getting anywhere and then all of a sudden you realize that you're actually in the payback you know and um that's why i mean if you listen to the really listen to the lyrics to it it has nothing to do with money or luxurious it has to do with um with love being rich in love and so i just wanted to think of a clever way to express how you know you have to work really hard for the rewards of that and so that's what the song's kind of about so then is love your greatest luxury well, when it's going good, <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing really does compare, you know what I mean, so. Because yeah, you can't buy it. It's not one of those things you can plan, you can't. No, it's funny, and you know, as you, as I, um, as I mature, <laughs> it's just funny, like, people around me, and everyone's trying to find people that they're into, and like, it's just, it becomes harder and harder, it seems like, as you're, you're younger, there's just so many people, yeah. I, I just feel really lucky that I found someone that I'm, I like hanging out with, so. Yeah. So, do you have family in mind? Do you have babies? Mm. Babies are totally on my mind right now as well. <laughs> Remember I had that list and that was one of the things on yeah. it. Before the solo album even, when I went to you, you're like, oh yeah, no, next is babies. I don't know. You know I think I I've been I, when I got my first got my period the first time, I was thinking, gosh, I want to have a baby. <laughs> How many years ago is that? <laughs> I guess the, the clock has been ticking for a little bit, a couple no, years. Or, I'm thinking about it, you know, we'll yeah. see what happens. Is it is it possible to have it all? You know what I mean? Have it all. Like, have this insane solo career where you sell millions and have this amazing <laughs> band where you sell millions and have a fashion line and a wonderful marriage and kids. I mean, I feel like maybe it is. Well, I think that I'm, I'm only human, so I'm greedy and I'll always want more and more and more. But <laughs> I, feel, I feel so lucky. And I'm, I had such an amazing last couple of years. And, I mean, amazing. The whole thing's been amazing. Yeah. I think the one thing that I feel really the most blessed about is um, in my career is to be able to have a career, you know, to be able to have longevity and um, to be able to just keep coming back with new stuff and be able to be creative and express myself. So 